This comet has strayed too close. It's being boiled away by the sun's heat, creating a tail that stretches for millions of kilometers. It's freezing in here. There's no doubt where this comet's come from. The icy wastes of deep space. But look at all this steam. The geysers and dust. It's the sun again, melting the comet's frozen heart. A kind of vast, dirty snowball, covered in grimy tar. Tiny grains of what looks like organic material, preserved on ice since, well, who knows when, maybe even the beginning of the solar system. Say a comet like this crashed into the young Earth billions of years ago. Maybe it delivered organic material and water, the raw ingredients of life. It may have even sown the seeds of life on Earth that evolved into you and me. But say it crashed into the Earth now. Think of the dinosaurs wiped out by a comet or asteroid strike. It's only a question of time. Eventually, one day, unless we can find a way to protect ourselves, we'll go the way of the dinosaurs. The Earth is safe. For now. But if life on Earth was obliterated, we'd be stuck out here, homeless, adrift in a hostile universe we'd need to find another home. Among the millions, billions of planets, there must be one that's not too hot, not too cold, with air, sunlight, water, where, like Goldilocks, we could comfortably live. A cloud of cosmic icebergs stretching for what seems like forever. They look like the comet we saw earlier. Maybe it started life out here, until something dislodged it, sending it towards the sun, just like the comets that may have planted life on Earth billions of years ago. And seeing all this ice, maybe they carried water to Earth too. It's an astonishing thought. The water in the oceans, in your coffee, even in your body, all from this distant celestial ice machine.